what is C? Model 3, when two flat plates are connected together. So, as shown in figure, for example, model 3. When two flat plates are connected together. For example, we are having a flat plate with thickness T must be connected to another plate of same thickness or thickness may change. So, this is our one more plate which is placed on another plate. So, this is the thickness for this section or this plate this is the thickness T for the above section where the welding is done here the plate is here if I extend like this the plate is like here and welding will be done in this in this side. So, simply you can draw like this plate 1 plate 2 where welding will be done here welding will be done here. The, the top view of this section is in this part in this direction or as follows where welding is done here in this portion with the this is known as length L and welding will be done here the length is L. So, what is the first step in design process of and two flat plates connected together as you know the first step is step 1 size of the plate or flat must be greater than or equal to 3 mm must be greater than or equal to 3 mm step 2 total length that is equal to L in that we need to find effective length effective length is equal to L minus 2 into S L minus 2 into S because we are having two lengths. So, we need to find effective length step 3 ultimate shear stress ultimate shear stress it will be given in the question itself units are newton per mm square or newton per meter square step 4 design shear stress design shear stress that is f sub x double d is equal to you know f u by root 3 into partial safety factor units are newton per mm square step 5 design strength in the weld that is equal to PD is equal to PD is equal to 0 0.7 into size of the weld into L effective length into design shear stress that is FWD that is design strength in the weld units are kilo newtons or newtons. The last step in this particular case we need to find the design tensile stress design tensile stress of the flat. So, the last step that is step 6 is equal to step 6 design this is tensile stress in the flats the design tensile stress or design tensile strength sorry it is not stress it is strength strength in the flat is T 
d is equal to 2 times of design strength in the weld pd by area of the plate that is b into t so this is a design process in the two plates or two flats connected together by using a gusset plate overlap when the two plates are overlap and well fillet uh, fillet type weld is done we need to follow these types of steps for design procedure the first step is the size of the flat that is s must be greater than or equal to 3 mm it is common for all the design methods step 2 where we need to find effective length that is l effective total length minus 2 times of the size of the weld step 3 ultimate shear stress is equal to it will be given in the question itself units on newton per mm square we need to find design shear stress fwd is equal to the ultimate shear stress by root 3 into partial safety factor where partial safety factor will be gi given in the question based upon the type of the weld if the weld is done in the workshop it is 1.25 if the weld is done in the site it is 1.50 the fifth step is the design strength in the weld pd is equal to you know 0.7 into size of the weld into effective length into design shear stress so in this particular case we need to find design tensile strength of the plates or flats so the new formula is the design tensile strength of the flat tdb it is denoted by t sub x d is equal to two times of the design strength of the weld divided by area of the plates so in this particular case we need to find or we need to derive the design tensile strength of the flats